All right, guys and girls, it is your boy Tigu. We're back again with another, just because we have a good opportunity right here. Currently in Saitama, uh, but we're on the very border. Uh, so we're on outer Tokyo, pretty much. Check out this apartment complex right here. So we're on the outer, uh, outer Tokyo. And you see, people think about Saitama, they think like super north, like up in the mountains and stuff. But this is like right on the border between Tokyo and um, Saitama. So this is, a, this is kind of considered as outer Tokyo. But we're going to be graced by the tour of Moses' apartment in outer Tokyo. What is a typical apartment? Because look, this is pretty normal. Apartment look like in outer Tokyo. Here we go, very unassuming door. This is like a very interesting lock, by the way. It's like, a, there's like a dog tag and the dog tag opens it. Anyways, let's go inside. Huh. As you can see already, there's like no, there's no good views or anything to talk about out there because we're not in the uh, rural area anymore. So right inside, this is the, uh, this is the kitchen, washing laundry area. So you got a closet right here, boom full of stuff. It's actually really nice. Wow, this is a really nice, um, this is a nice shoe rack, shoe case, sh closet thing. All right, and then the washing machine right here. No dryer, of course, because in Japan, you don't really have dryers in your household, especially in an apartment. And right here, we've got the bathroom. Look, it's pretty small. Look, like, if I stand in here, I'm taking most of the space up. Hello. So there it is. It's a wet room as usual. So you can get the whole thing wet and look at the bathtub. It's very, yeah, it's pretty uh, narrow, this bathtub. But it is deep, so you can soak in it. It's just a little narrow. All right, let's move it along. Here is the kitchen and the whole kitchen pretty much. Wow, very small, some cabinets. Boom, boom. Look how small the sink is. One tiny little stove. Got some little cabinets down here as well. Oy. And this right here is the bath or the toilet. That's the bathroom. This is the toilet. Check it out. Open it up. Ooh. Now, once again, you know, pretty cramped up in here, but really nice as always. You know, they have the uh, um, blah, 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 I can't remember what it's called. Washlet. Yeah, that's right. And it heats up too. So in the in the winter, your butt won't be freezing. All right. Here's some more shelves. <laughs> I got the American cereal because I bought it for Moses. Small little microwave going on. Refrigerator, freezer. Now let's head to the main room. <laughs> the only other room in here, the whole place. Whoa, here we are. Oh my gosh, it's a Moses. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the main room. As you can see, it's only two rooms, right? So it's like the whole kitchen, washing area over there, and then this room. So let's take a look at the size. Um, it's really interesting. Actually, it's really interesting what I notice is to like make the most out of this space, right? Notice how Moses is up on like a second floor. Well, there's no bottom bunk, right? And that's just to make some space because if you had the bed on the bottom, then you can't have like floating stuff above the bed, right? <laughs> but over here, why they have that is because look under Moses' uh, bed area, there's like a little dungeon compartment. And in here, you can put all kinds of stuff, including people, if you want to, I guess. <laughs> There's actually a light for the dungeon to turn that off, boom. So yeah, that is the room in a nutshell. And the outside as well. Yeah, let's take a look at the outside. Cause you do have to have a place to hang your laundry cause we in hop home, boys. So open it up. Whoa, woo. We got one sock, a towel hanging up. Not sure why Moses has a lawn chair out here. Does he actually sit out here and do stuff? Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hot right now to do that. Okay, and then, oh, hangers for the socks and stuff. And so, yeah, there it is. There it is. Let's see, though. Let's ask Moses, though. What does a place like this... Ow. What does a place like this cost um, in outer Tokyo? 58,000 yen a month. 58,000 yen a month. So in USD, that's about, let's say, like $570. $570 a month for this kind of place and that's pretty much because why because we're in a city oh uh, yeah on, on the greater part of tokyo yeah i already said outside but you know yeah, <laughs> the, outer, the, outer, <laughs> the, outer, the outer part yeah. but yeah because like you guys saw like my place in siyama i think 
it was about the same space, maybe, in my, in my place in Tsuyama. It was about the same space, possibly, but uh, it was like 150,000. I mean, 15,000. 15,000, yeah, a month. So the thing is, like, when you work for school, though, they'll pay part of your um, rent. Like, for, for me, they paid, they would pay up to 30,000 uh, for my apartment, but since that covers my whole apartment fee, I had literally, I didn't have to pay rent. And so Moses is getting like half of his covered as well from the yeah, school. From the school. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's like, that's something that is going to happen in cities. You know, cost of living is really high because there's no space and everyone wants to go to the cities. But yes. that was it. That was it. Not, no, you know, not very long because not much space in here. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to conclude this apartment tour in outer Tokyo, Saitama. So hope you enjoy that one. Thank you, Moses. Over. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace! Over.